The CNM Seeds Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. On winter wheat, it's really critical to do a good job of planting depths because planting depth will determine whether or not you run into frost heat problems. And that's when we talk about winter kill and winter wheat, it's not winter kill, it's almost always spring kill in the province of Ontario and it comes into this frost heave concern where we get those maple syrup nights, cold nights, warm days, frost goes in, frost comes out and it just keeps jacking that plant out of the ground. If you plant too shallow, and here's a plant here that, that I think is quite nice in terms of trying to look at the planting depth, so you find the seed and then you start looking for what we call the mesocotyl. So once you find the seed here, you look for a little bit of this white mesocotyl before we get up into the crown. And if you see no mesocotyl, then that means you planted too shallow. With winter wheat, you absolutely planted too shallow because this mesocotyl, or, or this, pardon me, the crown rather, the crown forms almost always at around three quarters of an inch to an inch deep. And it doesn't matter if you plant that plant at six inches deep, that crown will still form roughly in that inch to three quarter inch depth. And that's because the crown essentially forms by when the first leaf, the coleoptile, sees the light. So that's what determines how deep that crown forms. You can also see that at this crown, we're just nicely getting some root development. Some of that secondary root, the, the adventitious roots, those are what the, the roots that actually anchor the plant into the ground. You can see these primary roots grow essentially straight down. An anchor straight down doesn't work very well. These secondary roots actually grow out at a nice 45 degree angle and when they grow out at that 45 degree angle they just anchor that plant in the ground. So that's why planting depth in winter wheat becomes so critical on a spring cereal the quicker you can get that crop out of the ground, the better. And because we don't need to anchor the plant, planting depth isn't as critical in spring cereals as it is in winter cereals. And so if you plant too shallow in spring cereals, it tends not to have a big negative impact. Uh, you can definitely plant too deep as well, but if you start seeing two inches of mesocotyl, then you know you went too deep. So talking about optimum depths, a lot of people will just say plant into moisture. Uh, is, there any, is there any too deep to go into moisture or? Yeah, so, so in terms of, of if you don't plant into moisture, the, the seed doesn't germinate till it rains. And one thing about the weather patterns that we get, if it is dry, it tends to stay dry. If it is wet, it tends to stay wet. So I'm a big believer that you always need to plant to moisture. And with winter wheat, you can plant six inches deep, although the equipment won't do it, but the, the seeds will emerge. It's absolutely amazing. I've planted wheat six inches deep. It will come up. Practically, we're not going to plant over two and a half at the very most, and it's rare that we're going to need to go that deep. If we do proper tillage, if we're on top of our game, there's no reason there shouldn't be moisture at an inch and a half. But if there's not, and it's staying dry, absolutely you need to go to moisture. The caveat would be get the job done on time so you don't have to go deep and then planting that, that at an inch or in that range. Inch to inch and a half is really ideal because the, the shallower you can plant as long as you are into good moisture, the quicker that seed emerges, the quicker that seed emerges, the higher the yield potential. So planting depth is one of those issues that that yes you have to do a good job and yes there's some things going on out there but but it really does come down to it's a management factor we fail on miserably because the drills that we use just don't do a good job.